Uh, hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to be testing some titanium plates. Uh, it's going to be uh, 2 mm, 3, 4 and 5. It's a grade 5 titanium and for a start we're going to go with uh, 22, uh, 9 mm and uh, Tokarev, whichever plates stop all of them we step up to uh, 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 the same Tokarev round but from uh, PPSH 41 which gives higher speeds and uh, 44 Magnum from a uh, lever action rifle so for a start I'm gonna do 2 millimeter and uh, 22 LR uh, as you can see 22 make just a little dense on the 2 millimeter titanium. It's just a little bit, nothing, nothing big really. So I'm gonna hit it with a 9 millimeter now from a pistol. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, 9 millimeter destroyed the plate. It cracked. It's a different kind of penetration than the steel plate. Um, so yeah, that's for the 2mm. Uh, I'll try to shoot it with a Tokarev anyway, to see what kind of damage Tokarev can do to it. And as expected, Tokarev make a nice hole. It's quite uh, clean through penetration. So two millimeter, only good for a uh, 22. But uh, there will be other tests with a uh, uh, two millimeter thick. So we, I will try to make it stronger than it is. Let's go for a uh, three millimeter now. Okay, so this is a 3mm titanium grade 5 shot with a 22 and there is no dent at all. You can't even feel a little, you know, anything after the impact. The bullet just smashed to pieces, so 22 is no effect at all on the 3mm thick titanium. Let's go for a uh, 9mm. Okay, so uh, there is two hits from 9mm uh, close together and there is a crack on the back but obviously no penetration. So I'm gonna go for a Tokarev now and see how that performs. Uh, shot with Tokarev. It's, uh, well, it cracked open. Penetration, probably with uh, fragments of a bullet. Oh, come on. Focus. Looks like this. Quite big dent. Uh, I don't think the bullet went through, but the fragments of a bullet definitely fly through. Uh, it's hard to say, really. I don't have anything behind, but uh, definitely it would do some damage. So, 9mm stopped. Tokarev, not so much. <laughs> If I shot it with a PPSH 41, which give higher velocity, it would definitely go through. So I'll stop here for for this plate. Let's go uh, for a four millimeter now. Shot uh, four millimeter plate with a nine millimeter, and I'm just filming this to show the shrapnels that going off the plate after bullet hits. So it definitely shows that uh, protection against 
the, the fragments is very important. Uh, without that you definitely get injured wearing a plate just like you know bare metal. Okay so this is a 4mm titanium and I shot it with 9mm and there is barely even you can you can't you can't really feel just a little bit after the bullet impact there's not much deformation or anything really you can see the point but you can't feel it so it's much it's a big difference between 3 and 4 so I'm gonna go for Tokarev and see how that goes okay so this is the shot from Tokarev uh, and it's barely you cannot well, there is a slight dent, but really, really small. So four millimeter is really strong. I'll go for uh, PPSH now to see what kind of difference we get in uh, the damage. And uh, after that, who knows, maybe even 44 Magnum. And uh, see what happens. Okay, so I made two shots with uh, PPSH and the results are like this. This one in the middle, over here, was basically almost the same place as I shot it with a pistol. And this one, second, uh, much slightly deeper than the first shot. The plate is cracked quite seriously. I could say there is no penetration, but the plate is, as you can see, seriously damaged. The bullet did not went through. All bullet fragments were, you know, stopped in the carrier. But uh, as you can see, what happens after it, the Tokarev, is, Tokarev round is shot with uh, uh, something with a ro longer barrel. So it's good for pistol, for carbine, well, as you can see. So I might go for, uh, well, let's go for 44 Magnum then and see what happens. Just took a shot with a lever action rifle and I can already feel the damage so let's get it open <laughs> so that's what 44 Magnum does to 4 millimeter of titanium a big nasty hole Unfortunately, I do not have a revolver or anything with a short barrel to see how the 44 Magnum performs from that. So, I got only this. Um, so, yeah, that's it for a 4mm. So, let's step up to 5mm thick titanium. Two shots from 9mm to 5mm titanium, just a scratch on the surface, no dent, no nothing really, so no effect at all on that plate. Let's try Tokarev. Two shots with Tokarev here and here, small dent, barely anything on the back. So, Tokarev makes little or no effect on that plate from a pistol. I'm gonna go for a PPSH now. As you can see, that was two shots from the PPSH. I was quite lucky I had two shots on the target because it was full auto 
so I did not expect. I thought it's Sammy. Uh, so I had two shots anyway. I had only two rounds in the magazine. Uh, so all of them in the, on the plate. Stand, I don't know. You can feel it definitely. And you can see. Oh. Now I can see the light change. Dent over here and over here. Nothing big. Maybe one or two millimeters, something between. But really nothing, nothing amazing. So the five millimeter titanium is quite effective. Effect, uh, effective against those rounds. Uh, I'm gonna go for a lever action rifle 44 Magnum and see how that goes. Took one shot with 44 Magnum and it stopped it. The dent is quite big. The titanium cracked. You can see the um, yeah, something like this. The light is weird, the camera won't focus to show you closer, but it is like a half a millimeter crack just in one direction, like this. Uh, but it stopped. So, a 5mm can definitely stop any pistol round. Uh, I could shoot it with the 500 Smith & Wesson, but the gun is broken. And yeah, they got that beast with 10 inch barrel in the club. I could get it, but the, somehow Smith & Wesson is not willing to fix it, and they can't fix it. So yeah, Smith & Wesson for you. Uh, I'll go for M1. I can shoot M1 over here, so we'll see that goes. I'll, I think that's going to be the fastest round I can shoot over here, and uh, we're going to see the effect of that. Okay, so this was 44 Magnum, and there's one shot here from M1 carbine, and here. And it did not penetrate. It's a fast round, but 44 Magnum is more powerful. There's a small dent, an evil small tiny crack after M1 carbine. That's a 44 Magnum. M1 carbine over here as well, but it was stopped, no problem really. So the biggest threat is uh, 44 Magnum from a long barrel. So that's a 5mm titanium for you. And uh, I hope you enjoy the test. I'll try to make some more video. I know I still have to do some speed comparison uh, video. So hopefully I'm going to make it soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.